Hello and welcome back to Raven's Ratchet Hair Salon. Um, clearly, we have some work to do. We have some beautifying that needs to happen. First things first, I just got my eyebrows microbladed and during the healing process, it gets super dark and it looks like you drew your eyebrows on a Sharpie and it just doesn't look how it's really gonna end up looking. So don't be alarmed at how like intense my eyebrows look right now. Uh, it looks especially crazy because I don't have any other makeup on, so let's just ignore that. But yeah, we're here because first things first, my hair is super grown out. I have like a whole Whole inch and a half of roots grown in and I am wanting to keep my hair blonde and I'm okay when the roots start growing out a little bit it's cool it's a vibe but once they start getting to this point I don't I don't really love the way it looks but I'm not gonna be cutting my hair today because I need to maintain this link because I want to get some braids some box braids or like not lists oh my hair is uneven did I cut it uneven last time or did it grow uneven? even but yeah I'm trying to keep this length so that the braids will have something to grip on just broke my brush this is the hair that I just bought for the braids and this was the longest hair that they had I don't know how to do it myself I really don't even know who's gonna be doing these braids because I don't have a reputable person really to go to I live in Austin Texas I actually live in the suburbs outside of Austin Texas but even in Austin Texas we're pretty limited on black hairstylists in general let alone braiding places and stuff I mean we do have some we do have some but none that I've really I don't know I don't know pray for me the thing is I'm really tired of my roots being grown out like this and also my hair needs to be re like it's it's turning yellow It needs to be touched up. It needs to be retoned. It needs to go back to the icy blonde that I like So I want to re bleach my hair But I also want my hair to be freshly bleached right before I do my braids because I don't want to have dark roots with my braids And I'm not getting these until three weeks from now So if I bleach my hair today, it's definitely gonna have dark roots after three weeks It's gonna have a little bit of a dark root. So then the question is do I wait? Do I not do it now and just wait until right before I do the braids to do it? Or do I do it now because I need my hair to look presentable now? And then the other thing that I wanna do on top of that is I wanna try a new method of molding and wrapping my hair and setting my hair so that I can wear it in like a nice little cute straight pixie cut. I'll put pictures here. Since my hair is kind of grown out right here, I feel like it's giving me more of that longer grown out wispy pixie cut like this, kinda. But yeah, this style requires the hair to be actually like straightened. Obviously I have naturally curly hair, so it's not just gonna do that on its own. So I. I am going to be using wrap set lotion. This is the new one that I'm gonna be trying by the olive oil brand. I really don't know if this one is any good. I hope it works. And then the other thing that I felt like I really needed to try was actually using wrap strips to lay it down. You know, tie it down and lay it down and be able to dry it. And then the other thing, other thing that I felt like I really needed was a hooded dryer, an at-home hooded dryer. So I bought this at Sally Beauty yesterday. Whenever I'm trying to like set my hair, dry my hair, I just use my blow dryer, put the diffuser on I've shown before where I like set up a ghetto hooded dryer by like setting it to where I can sit underneath my blow dryer But I feel like having an actual hooded dryer will help a lot with me actually being able to properly dry and set my hair in place I've watched a few tutorials on YouTube and I think I want to try it today just because I'm literally not doing anything today I don't have anywhere to be I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow So if it turns out horrible there's no risk there. I've already shown y'all how I bleach my hair multiple times. I use this and this, mix it up in my little bowl, apply it, and usually I have to do it twice. I have to bleach my hair twice at least. And then I tone it with the Wella Toners T14. And I mix this with just a uh, 20 volume developer. And then, oh, I also re-upped on my shimmer lights. This really works. This is a major key. Really, I just use the conditioner. There's a shampoo and a conditioner if you wanna double down on it, but for me, I just find you really only need the conditioner. You can shampoo with whatever and then condition with this because with conditioner anyway, you normally leave conditioner on your hair for a few minutes to you know let it sit in and this is a purple tint so it'll keep your hair looking nice and icy. Let's just get down to business. Let's get down to business to defeat the roots. All right, well, I guess I'll uh, check back in after I apply the bleach to my roots. 
First bleach application is on. I can already tell that I'm gonna definitely have to go over it a second time just because it's hard to get like a really like perfect even coverage when your hair is so short because it's hard to part your hair. But I tried to get it as even as possible. And then also too, like I'm trying not to bleach the part that's already bleached, but it's so short. By the time you get it on there, it's already covering the whole hair. So you end up getting, you know, so much bleach on the part that didn't really need it. So I always struggle to apply it, but finally got my head covered. I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes. You can see on this side, that started on this side. It's already lightened and turned yellow and then it's starting to go on this side. And then I got to the back last. So that I know still needs some time. All right, first round is rinsed out. Again, I am not new to this. I'm true to this. So I pretty much know what to expect and what the process is gonna have to be at this point. So yeah, first round of ble bleaching usually gives me this very banana yellow with white tips. And then some parts are darker because I started on this side, so this got super bleached, but then this side didn't get as bleached, and then I finished in the back, so that definitely is darker. So then what I do on the second round is I do it backwards. So I'll start in the back this time, then move to this side, then move to this side at the very, very end. And this is what it looks like after the second round of bleaching. It just looks a little bit more even overall. I mean, it's still not 100% even, but it's even enough. You know, we get to this really pale yellow, white in some areas but still very yellow so that's why we have to tone it and it's a little bit more even in the back so yeah that's how i do it two rounds of bleaching back to back with 30 volume developer start on one side work your way around and then do it the opposite the second time and in total the bleach stays on my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes and this is the result, and so now we put the toner. I'm just gonna mix the T18 with 20 volume developer and just messily apply it all over my head and work it in and fully evenly coat my head as fast as possible. They say leave it on for up to 30 minutes. No, I would say like 10 minutes for what I'm trying to do. Real quick before I put the toner on, I just wanna, I brushed it out. You see the hang time? <laughs> Ew! I look disgusting but you see the hang time okay you see the length <laughs> the length okay i mean girl yeah we got a couple of extra inches than we normally have okay hang time because normally it doesn't even reach my ear okay so i applied the toner and after just like i said like probably like six minutes it's already turning like the hair itself is looking gray the toner itself is going purple so like as soon as it goes Purple like this, I'm rinsing it out. This might even be too long. I don't want my hair to be gray, so I'm gonna really rinse it. All right then, right then. <laughs> right then, babes. We're all toned. Okay, I can't. <laughs> This is what it looks like after rinsing the toner out. Definitely more icy, a little tinge of like purple grayness, but you know, once it's all dry and styled, it's good enough. And then I feel like it always looks better after like a couple washes, just so it can kind of like settle in and wash the excess toner out over time. But this is essentially the icy blonde that I'm looking for. Now, I was going to do the whole styling process with the foam and the wrap strips, trying this combo out for the first time and trying my hooded dryer out for the first time. I was gonna do that tonight, but it's like 9.30. I've been standing up doing this for hours now and I'm tired. So I feel like I'm just gonna do it in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning. <laughs> I look like several things right now. Last night, I put this little blonde hair care mask on. It was a little free sample I got from Ulta. So I just slapped this on. I'm not sure if it was gonna do anything. Maybe, you know, restore my keratin or something. I also put on this Weed Ad Bye Bye Breakage Serum, Strengthening and Thickening Serum. And then I also just put a little bit of coconut oil. So I put all this stuff in my hair and just slicked it down, put a scarf on and went to sleep. Clearly my scarf came off clearly my hair dried in a crazy way and it's still like curled up and kinked up a lot more like it's like so curly and kinky at the root it was like so slick when I went to bed and honestly it looks like I don't know it didn't really tone as much as I thought it did it still looks 
pretty yellow like at the root but it's super white at the tip so i don't know like i'm tempted to tone it again to get the rest of that yellow out i guess i'll just leave the color like this and just um continue to use my purple conditioner to tone the brassiness down next time i wash it so i'm just gonna move straight into doing the styling i do need my hair to be soaking wet so i'm just going to completely wet my hair down in the sink okay so hair is soaking wet maybe i just was tired last night and didn't realize how yellow my roots still looks but like i said i'm not finna mess with it again because i've already done too much to my hair at one time but yeah hair is soaking wet i watched a couple of youtube videos and the main video that i'm going off of is a girl who molded and set her hair and then it just came out perfect when it was dry she didn't even have to use a flat iron on it at all and it just was like a perfect little straight little wispy pixie cut now she definitely had a better haircut so i'm gonna see if this gonna work i'm gonna go ahead and just use this foam and the video that i watched she used a lot and i mean a lot it was dripping it was falling big clumps was coming down onto her towel a lot of foam to really make sure your hair is like fully covered in it i'm just gonna go for it she just started putting a whole bunch of foam start working that in to kind of like the inside of the hair so then she would just take her little comb and the thing that I learned that I didn't realize was that she said you part your hair and you slick it down in the opposite way that you are planning to wear it. So if I normally like to have my part over here and have my hair be swooping over this way, then for the um, mold, I need to part it over here and swoop it over the opposite way. And it turned out real cute the way she did it. So I'm following that advice. Hopefully it works. She just did a part going across at the crown and then like push this part forward and this part back, straight back. Oh my God, it's so long in the back too. Ew, it's like trailing down my neck. Like it needs to be cut up to like here, but it's all the way down here. I don't know about this y'all. Maybe I should do like a little bit of a, that kind of helps it. That's a little better. Okay, slick and smooth. And then, here's the part that I've never done before, the wrap strips. So she went like... Like this. And then took another one and tied it down real tight like that. So that's how she did her wrap strips. I don't know if I even did that tight enough. I'm worried about the crown in the back of my head. I don't know. I feel like that's going to start to not want to stay slick down like that. Especially back here. I feel like it's going to start curling up. But we don't see. This is an experiment. So then from here, you sit under the dryer. She said she sat on the dryer for about 30, 35 minutes. And just the whole point is to just make sure that your hair is completely dry. I feel like for me, it's probably going to take a little bit longer. She didn't have it. She just didn't have as much hair on her head I feel like I'm gonna sit under the dryer until my hair feels 100% dry and then we will see so this is a hooded dryer that I bought I just got this in person at Sally Beauty Supply I know I probably could have gotten one off of Amazon maybe for cheaper maybe had different options to choose from but I was being impatient and I wanted to get it right then and there they had only like a couple of different versions I picked this one specifically because it said it's whisper quiet we're gonna see how true that is because one thing about sitting under hooded dryers is that sometimes it can be so loud so you, like you can't even listen to music listen to podcasts watch tv or anything because you can't hear nothing because it's so loud but yeah this was just like the more updated one so i just got this one so i'm gonna set this up Ooh, girl why does it already look scratched up and stuff at the bottom what the heck this piece right here why is it all scratched up and like dirty looking that's weird. None of the other parts look used like that though. Like, what is that? This is her. Super futuristic, super giving me alien vibes. And it's just got a simple control right here off cool, medium, and hot. And just a simple button right here to like lock the hood into place and then it folds down. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna set it up right here. And then I'll just sit here. Welcome to Raver's Ratchet Salon. We got, we got hooded dryers and everything. Everything you need. I'm really interested interested to see how quote unquote whisper quiet this is. So let's turn it on. 
That is not quiet. I mean, it's not super loud, but it's pretty, like that's a pretty normal sound for any type of hair dryer. I guess it's not as loud as it could be. So whatever, I'll give them that. So I have it on hot. Okay, cool. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah! So I guess I'm gonna sit like this for probably about 30 to 40 minutes and then we will check in. All right, so I just sat under the dryer for 40 minutes, but then I felt like I was starting to sweat. Like I was definitely starting to sweat. I actually have, I was sweating. Um, and then I started feeling like I was sweating from my scalp. I'm trying to dry my hair, but my scalp is sweating. So that's very counterproductive. So I felt like I needed to at least come out and take a break or something. <laughs> I don't really know what to do in that scenario, but I can still feel that like, I can tell it's not totally, totally dry, but I feel like I need to like, pretty dry, like it's maybe like 85% dry all around, but the back, the back of my hair is like curling up. I feel like I'm gonna need like at least 10 to 15 more minutes under the dryer, but without sweating. Like I can't be sweating under the dryer cause then it's not working. <laughs> okay, I sat under the dryer for an additional 15 minutes. It definitely feels more dry. It's kind of hard to tell. I feel like it might still be like a little tiny bit moist deep in there. And I'm like scared. Cause the next step is to take a wide tooth comb and start combing it out and like flipping it in the opposite direction. And then it's supposed to be all like smooth and wispy and straight. But I don't know, if it's not fully, fully dry, then your hair is just gonna poof up. Like y'all know, when your style is not fully dry and you start manipulating it, it ruins it. So I am going to, I'm gonna put a satin scarf on and leave my scarf on for a little bit while I, I'm gonna do some DIY lash extensions today as well, which by the way, I have a video, not on YouTube, but actually I did do it on YouTube in my um, DIY at home spa day video. I talked about, my lash extensions, but I did a full in-depth tutorial on my Instagram IGTV. So if you want to see how I do DIY lash extensions, go to my IGTV. But I'm going to do that today. So while I'm doing that, I'm just going to have this scarf on, leave this on for a little bit, and then we'll come back and like comb it out and see what kind of results I actually got. I'm not too, I'm not too hopeful y'all, but we gonna see. I'm going to leave this on for a little bit. We gonna see. All right, I'm back. Lashes are done, um, but it's also been like three hours since I put this scarf on. I was only planning on leaving it on for like, you know, 30 minutes while I did my lashes, but I got distracted. I was checking emails, I was talking on the phone, I was doing all types of things. So it's been hours and hours. So there's no possible way that my hair is not completely dry at this point. She dry, dry as can be, okay? She is flat as can be. So then on the video that I watched, the next step, is supposed to be you take a wide tooth comb and you start combing it opposite so my parts right here but now I want my part to be over here she just started gently she said gently start combing it to get it going in the opposite direction okay I mean so far so good the hair is pretty straight and pretty smooth and then you just oh <laughs> Yo, I don't know about this. Why do I feel like the hair color doesn't look right? Maybe it's just because I haven't seen myself with the full platinum in a while. It's just making me feel like it's too intense. And maybe it's the eyebrows. I feel weird. I've never seen myself with this hairstyle. But I mean, it works. Like my hair is straight, it's smooth, it's, it's laying down. The process worked. It's just the haircut is not cute. <laughs> Is it the hair color or the haircut? What, what's the problem? What do I do? What's the problem here? I wish this was a live stream so y'all could help me. Maybe it's just different. Maybe I just need to get used to it. Maybe that's the problem. Is it ugly or am I just not used to it? Let's, let's go see in the natural light. Okay, this is natural light right by the window to show like the true color. Okay. I've settled into it. I put on like a tiny bit of makeup, brought some life into my face, right? Changed out of that pajama top I was wearing. Okay. I'm more accepting of this hairstyle. She's kind of cute. She's kind She's she's giving me pixie. She's giving me actual pixie, Tinkerbell, fairy in the forest. So that's why I did like, you know, the the freckles blush makeup cuz I'm like pixie. 
green top, forest, plants, greenery, Tinkerbell, green. With the right total package, I feel like she works. I still, you know, ideally I could just cut this off and you know, still the haircut is still kind of an issue, but just for the sake of making it work without cutting my hair, I think it's a little bit more put together than what I was currently, you know, what I was previously working with, with the grown out roots and the hair was looking real yellow and the hair was just very disheveled and I didn't know how to style it at that length. I feel like this is at least a step in the right direction. This at least looks like a hairstyle. This looks intentional. This looks like I wanted my hair to look like this on purpose type of thing. Maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea. Maybe it's not even my cup of tea. I don't know. I'm just so used to, you know, what I've been doing this whole time, which is like the finger waves. I don't know. What do y'all think? As always, y'all tell me what y'all think down below. Also, I feel like it's always like with new hairstyles or new haircuts, or whatever, you kind of have to live in it for a few days to really figure out how to make it work for you. So maybe like within a couple of days, I'll kind of settle into it a little bit more or figure out, you know, like a different way to do it. But yeah, this is the final result for now. Next thing to stay tuned for is to see how my braids turn out. Fingers crossed that they turn out and looking how I want them to look. But yeah, that's it for this episode of Raven's Ratchet Salon. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys in the next edition of Raven's Ratchet Salon. Bye.